As you all remember, uh, three months ago, the Commission was committed uh, to come back very soon with uh, uh, an initiative and a proposal on migration. So in this very short period today, we are in a position to say that we have made a very important step forward. This today's meeting, as it was uh, described uh, by Vice President Timmermans before, was um, a very important day for our Commission, a lengthy and a thorough debate on migration issue, but it was overshadowed, as you know, by the today's events near the Libyan coast that reminds us once again that migration challenges will not uh, just go away, and that now, more than ever, we need a comprehensive and long-term strategy. In addition to the continuous support we provide to member states that are facing high migratory pressures. Today's orientation debate marks an important step that we have taken to build a new narrative for a European migration policy that protects vulnerable migrants, safeguards our territory, and is a driver for growth. We have reached the point where we need to put an end to the blame game. The blame is often on Europe, but uh, we need to be realistic and clear about what the European Union can do and cannot do. At the same time, dealing with uh, migration cannot be the responsibility of just one member state or even just one portfolio for that matter. For this Commission, migration is one of our ten priorities, and it's a shared priority across different policy areas, both internal and external. We will have to work closely and together if we want to manage migration better. There is no alternative. We need European comprehensive solutions. Solidarity needs to stop being a slogan. It needs to become a reality. And we cannot ignore the political situation of our neighboring countries. This is a reality that we will not go away if we just don't deal with it. My colleague, Vice President Timmermans, already mentioned the key areas of our work for this agenda. Let me be more concrete. On asylum, we need more legal routes for people to arrive to Europe safely and to avoid deaths in the Mediterranean and other irregular migrant routes. We need more resettlement places. The European Union has already pledged for 36,000 places, the highest number so far, but we need to do more. The Commission is currently discussing with the Member States how to improve resettlement and relocation on a voluntary basis, because we want to make progress on this quickly and as soon as possible. Regarding the Dublin II system, I know that uh, there are difficulties with its implementation. That is why I am open to discuss the functioning of Dublin II and to see whether the existing system could be improved in the spirit of shared responsibility. On a new European policy on legal migration, we certainly cannot ignore the current levels of unemployment, but at the same time, we must also understand the needs of our labour market. Europe is an ageing society, and we must not forget that. Yes, we will be reviewing the blue card, but more importantly, we will launch 
a consultation and engage with different stakeholders, including civil society, the private sector, and trade unions. We will need skills from abroad to create a more thriving and competitive Europe. This is a long-term uh, challenge that we will start addressing now. On irregular migration and the fight against smuggling, which is, you know, it is one of our top priorities in this field. Working and engaging third countries, countries of origin and transit, is essential for dealing with the root causes of irregular migration and smuggling. We already have several partnerships in place, but we are now intensifying our collaboration with countries of origin and transit, not only in Africa, but also Turkey and even Serbia and Kosovo. We have to enhance, we have to reinforce the cooperation with third countries in an integrated approach, encompassing the fight against smuggling, but also with uh, development assistance and humanitarian actions. I will be visiting many of these countries in the coming days, weeks, and months. In fact, tomorrow I will be in Belgrade, and I will also collaborate closely with my colleague, High Representative Vice President Mogherini, on this matter. On securing now our external borders, we have to be realistic here. Frontex is not a European border guard system. If we want one, we would have to create one. If we want to enhance Frontex, we need to pull more resources from member states. We need to enhance our capacity to quickly mobilize human and material resources to assist those member states facing high migratory pressures, not only in the Mediterranean, but also at the Hungarian Serbian borders. Joint Operation Triton has already saved thousands of lives. But it is true, we need to do more. It is the duty of both the European Union and the Member States to save lives. We have no other choice. This new European agenda on migration will be ambitious. It will be a truly common effort of this Commission. We will work towards developing this agenda in a comprehensive and forward-looking way with commitment and determination. And uh, as Franz Timmermans said before, we are about to work speedily and fastly on that. And uh, I believe that we shall be in a position to deliver by the end of May. Thank you very much for your attention.